for the first time in 30 years. Walk this way, down these new stairs to get to the train. The commute just got shorter for producer Data, who lives a few steps away. Yes, I don't have to walk through Arlington, down Fulton, all the way around. And it's cluttered over there anyway, so this is better. We can just walk in right here. This is great. The MTA measured a quarter mile closer than the main Nostrand Avenue entrance on the AC. It was closed in the 90s in consultation with police for safety concerns, says MTA Chief Customer Officer Sarah Meyer. That was then and this is now. The city is a much safer place. The subway is a much safer place. NYPD is responsible for policing the subways. Statistics show a drop in most crimes. Theft remains a concern. Also, there have been several cases of people pushed on tracks, and there are questions about how to reach people who have mental health issues. NYPD Chief of Transit Kathy O'Reilly has a new approach. We have deployed more offices. We've switched offices from plain clothes to uniform presence to to the platforms, to the trains, and to the mezzanine area. At Thursday's yeah, media did. briefing, the we police commissioner and mayor Mark. talked about outreach and social services for people found in the transit system who are facing personal challenges. The mayor disagreed with the perception that the subways were not safe. The subways have been made much safer over time. We got more work to do, that's true. Another new set of stairs and uh, bright, uh, freshly painted uh, mezzanine uh, is across uh, uh, across Fulton uh, at Bedford. Uh, you know, this is one of those places that was always here and was just covered up. The MTA is looking at uh, other locations that have other access points uh, for to maybe open those. Live in Bedside, Brooklyn tonight. Greg Mocker, Pix 11 News.